Alright, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Dwayne Hurt. Three is enough entertainment, man. Shoot, I ain't did nothing on YouTube in a long time, and uh, shit. I got some making up dip. Got some content to kick out. I got a lot of stuff. So today, I'm here to do a late ass review on Bad Boys 3, aka Bad Boys for Life. Don't know why they named Bad Boys for Life. Supposed to do another one. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, first of all, before I get into my review, spoiler alert. I'm going to be dropping mad spoilers, okay? So if you haven't seen the movie, get off the video right now. If you haven't seen the movie, get off the video right now. Unless you want to shit spoiled for you. That's just me keeping it a buck. Just me keeping it a buck. A buck fifty, bruh. So let's get into it. It's been 17 years since Bad Boys 2. And you know, that was made back in 2003. Remember how that movie was? The niggas got an in on that movie. Um, and that movie was great. I like Bad Boys 2 better than the first one. And I still love the first one. Them, them joints is classic, man. So it took them 17 years to really pop, you know, pump this one out. And, you know, I had some, I'll be honest with you, I had some concerns going into the movie. Like, man. Um, are they still going to be funny? And from the trailers, it didn't look like Martin was going to do much of anything in this film. Or, you know, not especially action. When it came to action, it was like, man, I don't, I don't really think going to do all that. But, um, hopefully he's still funny. Hopefully they're both funny. Hopefully, hopefully their chemistry is still there, you know. But, you know what? For the most part, I'm going to say this. I ain't even going to tell you what the story's about. I don't give a I, you'll figure you know if you made it this far, you know the fuck you know what the fuck it's about. Give me no shit. Everybody you don't watch a review on told you damn story. I'm not about to do that. I'm gonna tell you what I like and don't like. So Yeah, my concerns were that this wasn't gonna be good at all. Surprisingly, this movie was This movie was decent. It was better than I thought it was gonna be. I ain't think I had so many bad vibes going into this movie. I'm thinking all the the most negative shit because I'm thinking, yo, Michael Bay didn't direct this movie. They took too long to do it. The action's not going to be so par with part two. And I was just hoping that it would be it just as good, if not, you know, whatever, as is the first one. You know, just be good. Just be a good guy. At, at that point, I'm like, eh, the first one's fucking up here, too, man. So, just be a good movie. <laughs> oh, shit. My bad. <clears throat> That's that Rona. Let's get into the positives, the things I like about this movie. Let's start off with the good. Uh, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. They came back for it. That's a positive. Another positive. They're still funny. They have good chemistry together still. It's that's another positive. I enjoyed it. Another positive. This movie takes so many different unexpected turns, man. It has a lot of twists and turns to it. And it has a lot of moments that catch you off guard. Now that shit is what I really like about this movie. And this movie has a an, okay, another positive. This movie has a real deep demeanor to it. It's deep it's more deeper and darker than the other Bad Boys movies. It's got that like, good drama. It's got good drama to it. I, I, it got, it had more drama than I thought it was gonna have. I mean, the drama was real. Like that shit worked, and it, it it's the acting, uh, pretty good. You know, Will Smith, he's an actor. <laughs> Martin Lawrence, though, he definitely delivered some decent acting in this movie. Did not see that coming from Martin. Not saying he's a bad actor, but not the type of acting that's done here. You know, even though sometimes his delivery on some of the, some of his lines are a little, little, uh, little, uh, little lazy. Like directing this, you should be like, yo, you could deliver that a little better. We need one more take. But I feel like they just didn't give a fuck. That's the good. The bad. The bad. The bad, the bad. There is some shitty CGI in this movie. There is some shitty green screen in this movie. <laughs> and it's bad. 
please. Like when they were on the little sidecar, little sidecar, bike, whatever, you definitely can tell the green screen was doo doo. It was doo doo. It was dookie. It was dookie juice. It was horrible. It was bad. Um, the CGI, another, the, with the CGI, the part with Will Smith fighting Armando, Arnett, whatever, Mendez, whatever, whatever boy name it hell. That movie is his son. That's the twist. It's his son. He fighting his son. When he was fighting him, he, he, his CGI was dookie. It's like it turned into, it turned into Gemini Man all of a sudden. I'm like, what? I don't even like that movie like that. But I guess I know who put that in the director's head to be like, yo, we should do that shit. That shit might be cool for Bad Boys 3. <sighs> nah, bro. That shit ain't cool, bro. Another thing I don't like about this movie, um, the twist. <laughs> the twist. With it being Will Smith, with that, with the villain being <laughs> Will Smith's son. The villain is Will Smith's son. I uh, I got a problem with it because the movie was good up until that part. The movie was decent up until that part, you know, minus the CGI and all that bullshit I just named. Um, I got a problem with the villain being Will Smith's son. First of all, the the whole way the way he found out that that was his son. I wasn't buying it. Like he looks on the computer, looking through the files, and he starts freaking out. Start. I guess he sees some dates and nothing. Whatever, man. Fuck. It. it wasn't on the screen that long for me to look at. But he starts freaking out. He go on to the fucking back like he's a damn. He start talking like a slave. He he and start crying again. You know how Will Smith be crying in every movie these days. Marcus, he my son. Oh, bro, your son. I'm like, I'm in the movie theater like, what? Your son? Like, what? I'm about to leave, man. Then, get the fuck. This is dumb. Part of the movie that was doo-doo. It was doo-doo to me, bro. It was dookie juice. So, I'm like this. Okay, my head's hurting. That's your son. So, are you going to kill him? So, he talks about killing him. <laughs> How do you know that this is your son? There's no, there's no really... There's no real proof at this point in the movie. So then we keep going. I say, all right, fuck it. I'm going to just sit back down. I'm going to let it play out. Maybe maybe this might change. Next thing you know, they get into it. You know, his son takes a damn bullet. <laughs> for His son, Will Smith's son, take a bullet for him. Because the mama, the mama wanted to kill the other villain in the movie. Another negative. They don't even kill the damn son. Uh, the son, mind you, shot the captain. Shot and killed the captain. Shot Will Smith. Shot a lot of other detectives. So, they left him, they let, they let him live. They let the little motherfucker brief. And they let, they let him live and they left it open for another movie where as though they'll be working together. Will Smith and his son will be working together because Will Smith is now going to let his son pay off some of the debt. This is feeling like Fast and Furious all over again. Jason Statham, remember he was fucking with him. He was the villain. Now they working together. Come on, man. Shit, this shit. Fuck that shit. I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't see no shit like this. Fuck it, man. Fuck it. Fuck it. And Martin Lawrence, he he was he might as well retire. I think I don't think he should be a cop. That's another negative. At the end of this movie, he did not retire. He didn't retire or become a captain. They made Will Smith a captain. I don't know if he's the captain of Emma or Martin Lawrence still a cop. You mean tell me Martin Lawrence still a detective? His old ass needs to sit down somewhere and just be like lucky to be, you know, whatever. Be retired. Be retired, Martin. I don't know if I'm ready for Bad Boys 4. Those are the negatives. Those are the negatives. What would I rate this movie? I give it up. I give it a, uh, 
Hey, Bad Boys 3, an 8 out of 10. Decent movie. Not, gr not great, but not the worst thing you can watch. It's actually entertaining. It has some funny moments and um, got some decent, it got some okay action. Yeah. Nowhere near the action in, like the second one. But, eh, needless to say, it's an entertainer for me, man. Check it out if you're a fan of the Bad Boys. You already checked it out, then fuck it. You know what I'm talking about. They say this is the best story of the three. Uh, it was until the twist came. Once the twist came and the last half of the movie came, I was like, all right, fuck it. Fuck, wipe that all that shit under the rug because this, this is horrible. Um, but anyway, I'm about to get up out of here. It's your boy Dwayne Hurt. Three is enough entertainment. Um, shit, don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below. And, um, donate to my page, man. Donate to my PayPal. Um, it's in the link below. Check out my movie on Amazon Prime. That's in the link below. So, hey, man, we just gonna keep rocking this thing. I'm out. Peace.